Beep, beep. <laughs> Hi everyone, you I'm- You can't, cause it's my bat, and it's my ball, and you know what? You're not even my friend anymore! <laughs> <laughs> oh, hi, Percival. Oh, no, yeah, hi, Miriam. <sighs> What's going on? Oh, you know, it's only Scruff and Chick and Bubbles and Reg and Jazz and... Uh-huh. Ah! Oh, <sighs> right. Oh, well, I mean, we were playing with my bat and my ball, mm -hmm. but they weren't playing by the rules. Oh. Yeah, yeah, and, and I do not play with anyone who doesn't play by the rules. So what I'm going to do, Miriam, yeah. is I'm going to take my bat and my ball, and I'm going to go home. <laughs> oh. Oh, oh, I'm so sorry about that. As I was saying, I'm Miriam, and that was Percival. Well, today we are going to be looking at a true story from the Bible about what happened when a good and religious person met Jesus. But first, let's meet a person called Rudiger. This is Rudiger, and Rudiger was a very good person. At school, Rudiger would always help his teacher with anything they needed. Can I carry, oh, I'm gonna carry your bag, and I'm gonna carry this, and I'm gonna carry this bag as well. I'm gonna help you. Okay, I'm gonna help you. I'll, I'll just, I'll take these over here, yeah. And whenever there was a test on at school, Rudiger would always get top marks. Rhinoceros. R-H-I-N-O-C-E-R-O-S. Rhinoceros. And Rudiger would even help all the other children. You see, it's spelled R-H-I-N, not just R-I-N. The H is silent. And Rudiger used to help old ladies across the street. Oh, do you need help? Do you need help, old lady? I'll I'll help you as you as you walk down. You're doing you're doing so well. Well done. Well done. And at church, Rudiger knew all the answers. Oh, oh, oh! Well, the answer is Jesus. Or it's God. And if it's not Jesus or God, then it's definitely the Bible. Rudiger was a very good person. The end. Maybe you sometimes feel like Rudiger. Maybe sometimes you feel like you're a pretty good person. You always do your best and your best is pretty good. Well, today we're going to hear about what happened when Jesus met a man named Nicodemus, who was a good and religious person. <laughs> okay, Miriam. I'm back. So yep. I see. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Everyone, this is my friend Percival. Oh, hi everybody. I am Percival. Well, you seemed pretty upset before. Yes, Miriam. Yes, I was very upset before. And you know why? Why? Well, because me and my friends were playing, but I was the only one playing by the rules. Aww. Everyone else was cheating. And so they're not my friends anymore. Oh, no. Anyway, Miriam, what are you up to? We are about to watch a true story of what happened when Jesus met someone who was a good guy. A good guy? Yeah. Hey, he sounds like my kind of fella. <laughs> yeah, I bet that Jesus shook his hand and said, congratulations, son, for being such a top bloke. <laughs> well, how about we see, hey? How can people be made right with God? Maybe by being good? Maybe by being religious. Do these things make you right with God? Can we be good enough for God? Nick walked as fast as his old frame would allow. It was dark out and he wanted to get to the house where Jesus was staying as quickly as he could. He saw the light shining from the window. He knocked and waited as he heard footsteps approach. The door swung open and light poured out. Nick the teacher of God's law, sat in silence, wondering how this discussion would go. Opposite him sat Jesus. Jesus was much younger than Nick, but already he was known as someone who taught about God with great authority. Nick also heard that Jesus had great power. Jesus had turned water into wine. Jesus made people who were blind able to see again. Jesus healed people whose legs did not work. 
Jesus had great power indeed. Finally, Nick spoke. Jesus, we know that you are a teacher who has come from God. No one would be able to do the miracles you are doing if God were not with him. Surely this compliment would please Jesus. But as Jesus looked at Nick, he knew that Nick had to change. He knew that his being good was not enough. And so Jesus said to Nick, I tell you the truth. If you want to see God's kingdom, you must be born again. You must be born again? That caught Nick's attention. How can I be born again? Thought Nick. He looked at himself and imagined. Could he fit back inside his mum and be born a second time? Surely not. Then what could Jesus mean? Did Jesus mean that all the good and religious things that Nick did would not be enough? That Nick would have to be changed completely by God to be made right with God? Jesus went on to say, For God so loved the world that he gave his only Son, that whoever believes in him will have eternal life in his name. A short time later, Jesus, God's only son, was killed on a cross. This is what had to be done for people to be made right with God. But to show that Jesus could offer eternal life for all who would believe in his name, three days later, Jesus was raised back to life again. And so, how can people be made right with God? It's not by being good or by being religious. People need to be changed completely by God to be made right with God. And people are made right with God by believing in Jesus' name. The end. What just happened? Well, what do you mean? Well, Nick was a good and religious guy. Yeah. But that wasn't enough to be right with God? Well, that's what Jesus was saying. <gasps> the Bible says that by themselves, no one can be good enough to be made right with God. Why not? Well, because if we think about it, none of us can live up to even our own standards, never mind God's standards. <laughs> what are you talking about, Miriam? I do. Uh, really? Mm -hmm. So... You're happy to shout at your friends and tell them that you won't be their friend anymore just oh. because they did something that annoyed you a little bit. Oh. Miriam, there is no way, no way that I would ever do... Oh, wait, uh, that's what I did, wasn't it? Yeah, yeah, you did. Oh, man, I can't even live up to my own standards. No, <laughs> when we think carefully about it, none of us do. Oh, this is hopeless, Miriam! But no, it's not. Because Wait, it's not? Jesus taught that if people recognise that they need to be changed by God, yeah. to be made right with God, mm -hmm. then that can happen. If people believe in Jesus, God will allow people to be made right with him. Oh. And he will give us new life. Wow. And with that new life, we will still not always get things right. Mm. But we can try to live more like the way God wants us to, with his help. Oh, that is great news, Miriam. And you know what I'm going to do? What? Well, I'm, uh, I'm going to get my ball <laughs> and my bat and I'm going to say sorry to my oh. friends, Miriam. Yeah, hopefully they're going to want to play with me again. Oh, that sounds like a really good idea, Percival. Yeah, okay. <laughs> See you later, Miriam. <laughs> <laughs> See you. <ye. laughs> well, today we have seen from the Bible, that everyone, even really good people, have to be changed by God, to be made right with God. Everyone has to believe in Jesus to be made right with God. To help you think more about that, we have some discussion questions and activity sheets and games and craft ideas that you can check out at www.quizworks.com forward slash home delivery. And you can talk to people you know who do believe in Jesus. 
and you can ask them what it means for them to believe in Jesus. Now, I'm going to go and see if Percival will let me play as well. I'll see you next time.